Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Karen and this is Southern Ketovore. I appreciate you checking in today. Happy 2023, everybody. Here we are just a couple of days into the new year and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. However you celebrate, if you celebrate, I hope it was awesome. Uh, for me, the holidays are a little hectic. Uh, working in retail, it's just a busy, busy time. So unfortunately, uh, that did kind of, uh, you know, I put myself on the back burner for the last uh, six to eight weeks or so. And uh, yeah, so I'm not feeling awesome. I have still been, um, for the most part, following along with all of my normal plans, but I did have some slips over the holidays. So uh, just like everybody else, I am looking at the new year as a new and fresh and wonderful and awesome start. Um, professionally, this is the time of year when things kind of start to mellow out a little bit which is great because now it gives me an opportunity to really try to make myself and my health a priority. So the, uh, the plans for the year are going to be fun. Uh, I'm excited, uh, to feel a new renewed, refreshed sense of starting something great. So, uh, that's, that's what we're going to talk about today in this particular video is happy 2023. Um, I hope that you guys have all started off the new year with whatever big plans and goals you would like to have. Um, I am not one typically for New Year's resolutions because I don't keep them. Uh, I think that they the excitement uh, tends to wear off pretty quickly with resolutions. But if you make some decisions and try and make small goals. I feel like those are typically a lot easier to accomplish and move forward with and get a little bit of traction with. So that is what I intend to do with 2023. So what are my plans going forward over the course of this year? Uh, well, right now, um, my intention for my own health is to continue on this journey. Um, I have spent now about five and a half years following a very low carbohydrate diet. Um, during this time, I've definitely made huge strides. I have lost at this point about 45 pounds. I have completely reversed my type two diabetes, which was taken off my medical record earlier this year, uh, or last year, gosh, cause it's 2023 now. So, uh, the fall of 2022, my type two diabetes was removed from my medical record. Um, I also have had countless other benefits. My sleep has improved. I no longer have issues with snoring and sleep apnea and sleep paralysis, which was awful. Uh, I no longer have chronic heartburn and have to take any kind of medications for that, uh, which I used to have like car tums and work tums and house tums, and I don't have any of that anymore. Uh, I used to struggle with gout flares, which were absolutely agonizing. Uh, very, very regular headaches, um, awful allergies. I would get sinus infections typically twice a year. I would be on antibiotics and that doesn't happen anymore. Um, but overall, just I, I had so much inflammation and felt so crummy and uh, lethargic and I had no confidence and I was pretty miserable uh, prior to being introduced to following a ketogenic diet. So even though I have been very human and I've screwed up a few times over the course of the last couple of years and, and it has kept me from reaching my goals, I still am reaping the benefits of ultimately staying mostly ketogenic during this time period. So I feel like this is, this is the time to really buckle down. Um, I just turned 41 in October and frankly, I'm, I'm not getting any younger. And I feel like I really have to make decisions uh, that put my future self uh, in, in perspective and, and my future self needs to be my priority. So I have a lot of goals and I have a lot of uh, ideas and plans that I want to implement and accomplish this year. So uh, I am just to, to, uh, fill you in if you are new here. I am 41. I am five foot six. 
Uh, currently with the little, the six pounds of holiday regain, uh, I am at 176.2 pounds as of January 1st, which today's the third. So I've, I've already started losing a little water weight. Um, my goal weight is somewhere between 140, 150. Uh, you know, I don't intend to hit a specific number and celebrate and change anything, but that's where I feel like I will be at my healthiest weight. Um, I am not looking at this as something that's a quick fix. I, I am indefinitely planning on uh, staying with this way of eating long term. It has brought me too many health benefits not to continue on this path. Uh, so my plan is to work a little bit harder this year to be more consistent. Um, part of that consistency is being regular on here with you guys. Uh, and y'all are such a wonderful group of people that give me so much feedback and at the same time you all encourage me to do better and you encourage me to be accountable and so I'm hoping to be better this year at being more accountable and really expressing myself through the channel and sharing this journey with you so that um, it may give you a little bit of insight it may encourage you it may you know help you to realize that we are all human and no one is perfect. Uh, so I do want to share all of that with you over the course of the year. And uh, with that, I want to be more consistent. Uh, in addition, my husband, Richard, uh, started back following a ketogenic way of life on January 1st as well. Some of you have met and seen Richard previously in other videos. Uh, he is the family class clown. And uh, we love him for it. He is endless, endless entertainment. Uh, but Richard is overall a healthy guy. Uh, he does not have any um, metabolic disorders or damage. He doesn't have high blood pressure. He's not on any medications other, other than minor ADHD medicines. Um, but he overall, he's a healthy guy. Um, he did keto previously when I first started a few years ago. Um, during that time, actually, he was desperate when he started keto. Um, prior to beginning, he was struggling with symptoms from idiopathic gastroparesis, uh, which if you're unfamiliar, basically your uh, the vagus nerve that signals for your stomach to empty into your intestines kind of just stops doing its thing. Uh, so for him, what was happening uh, was his food would get to his stomach and it would hang there for far too long and begin to ferment and eventually he would vomit. Uh, he, he just had constant vomiting, basically everything that he ate, he would throw up. Uh, this went on for a, a year and a half, uh, maybe almost two years prior to an official diagnosis, uh, which was kind of hard because it's typically something that goes along with diabetic patients. And so since he did not have any type of diabetes or, or anything, it was something that they were really confused by. Uh, so once he finally got his diagnosis, he was given medication that did help. It would trigger his vagus nerve to empty his stomach. Um, but he still didn't feel great. And he still, uh, in, in general, he was still having some gastric issues and upset. Um, fast forward to... I. I after I had been following a keto diet for about six months or so, um, I think he saw the improvement uh, as far as how good I was feeling, how much better my sleep was, and all of the ailments that I just miraculously got lost uh, and was feeling so much better. So he wanted to join in. Um, he jumped in, and since he's you know, on the healthier side, he was able to do a little bit more of a dirty keto with, you know, some of the low carb wraps and tortillas and, um, bars and, and different things, but he saw great success. Uh, he lost a little bit of weight. He was feeling awesome. And a lot of his everyday complaints, like almost daily headaches, um, biweekly migraines. He would get a couple of migraines a month, typically, um, heartburn, some 
sinus issues. He had previously had some gout issues. Um, honestly, it was from taking so much Excedrin for his headaches. He had a sensitivity to aspirin uh, that would kind of trigger gout flares. Um, so all of those things started to improve when he went on a ketogenic diet. Um, and then lo and behold, he just really started feeling like his digestion was improving. Uh, so he very hesitantly started tapering back on his medication for his gastroparesis. And we found that it seemed to have completely resolved itself. Uh, so since that time, that was in 2018, he has not taken any medication for his digestion. Even though he has gone back to a standard American diet, uh, his digestion has still been great. Um, he, however, <laughs> he is 43 and like me, not getting any younger. And so he's starting to just feel overall kind of crummy uh, from not having a good diet, just not fueling his body well. So he decided to start back with me on the first. Um, so on Sunday, on January 1st, we decided to take all of our measurements. Um, he, you know, my weight again was 176.2. His starting weight, now Richard is about six foot one. Uh, his starting rate, weight is 209.4, which he made fun of me for writing the 0.4, but I told him that one day he's going to wish that I had written it down because it'll matter. Um, but we are both starting this together. Um, and my intention for 2023 is to share both my journey and as much of his journey as he is willing to share with you guys. Um, I think that it is important to see, first of all, um, by gender, how we might respond and change, uh, with this, um, but also by diet because they are going to be slightly different. My plan is to continue following what I have found makes me feel best, which is a keto vore diet. It's kind of a hybrid of keto and carnivore. Uh, for me personally, that looks like occasional days that are fully carnivore with just meat and eggs, and then other days that do incorporate some very low carb veggies um, or, or dairy and things like a whole fat yogurt and things like that that might carry a few carbs. Um, but typically I average anywhere from zero to 10 grams of total carbs per day following my way of eating. And that's just how I feel the absolute best. Uh, for Richard, we are looking more at a traditional ketogenic diet. So we're going to aim to keep him between 20 and 30 grams of carbs a day. So he has a little bit of leeway. And so the, the plan, uh, since we are gonna be kind of following something a little bit different, um, is to when I do my what I eat in a day videos, I'm gonna try and show examples of both of us so that you can see what's on my plate, see what's on his as far as kind of some ideas of, of uh, meal ideas and ratios for someone following more keto for or even closer to carnivore uh, and someone following traditional keto. Um, so for new folks that are just kind of starting in with this, that might be able to give them some insight and inspiration for what to have as part of their regular diet. Um, in addition, I want to share with you guys my grocery hauls and any meal prepping that I'm doing because the meal preps will be both for keto and keto for as we move forward, just so that you can see kind of the stuff that I'm preparing for both of us. Um, Aside from that, um, I'm hoping to start touching on some topics um, as far as health benefits or different things that we see along the way. Uh, and also for 2023, I really wanna start doing some uh, hopefully weekly live Q&A videos uh, with you guys. And that will either be just me or with Richard or maybe a mix of the two. Um, but I really wanna be able to engage with you guys and answer some questions and uh, chit chat and get a little bit, you know, more familiar and closer with all of you guys as we go along. So um, I am thinking ahead already. I mean, here we are January 3rd and I'm thinking about uh, over the course of this year, what are my goals going to be per month? Am I going to have any challenges or anything like that that I'm planning or going with um, as we move forward? And, and I'm, I'm getting some ideas for things that I want to do. Uh, short term, 
for the month of January, my goal is consistency. Uh, it is not only for me, but for being consistent with, um, with meal prep and being as prepared as I can for both me and Richard, um, because I know that that will be what makes him successful. Uh, he definitely needs things prepared where I've been at this long enough that I can kind of wing it. Uh, he has a lot of trouble with that. So I need to be really consistent with meal prep. Um, I also am for the month of January, I am trying to be consistent with tracking. Um, tracking is not something that everybody has to do. And it's not something that I do all the time. Uh, but right now, while I'm really trying to regain my discipline and feel really good um, and get back to basics, I am logging everything every day uh, in Cart Manager. And I am sharing that over on my Instagram each day as well. So y'all can see kind of um, what my progress is over there as far as how well I'm tracking. But that's part of the accountability for me is going to be tracking for this month. So a January goal is to track my food uh, and also to try to take pictures of all of my meals as well and share those over on Instagram. Um, otherwise, that's that's short term. Uh, I do still have some goals. Of course, I want to get to my goal weight, um, but I, I'm not stressing. Right now, it's a matter of fundamentals and really getting back to uh, back to basics and discipline. So that's the plan for the month of January. That's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys is lots of grocery hauls, meal preps, weekly check-ins, and hopefully we'll start with some weekly lives as well. Um, and if, if there is a, uh, a day of the week or time or day and time of the week that works well for you guys for lives, let me know. I mean, we have so many great people doing lives throughout the week and I don't want to uh, infringe on those time periods because most of the time I'm watching them too. And, uh, I have so many friends in this community that I just really want to be respectful of their time as well. Uh, so let me know in the comments if there are certain days and times that work well, uh, and I'll look and see what Richard and I are able to do or what I'm able to do for a live. Um, additionally, I really want to know what your goals are. Uh, if you've made a New Year's resolution or if you've got some 2023 goals or some January goals, I would love to know what your plans are. Um, are you going low carb? Are you going keto? Are you brand new to the proper human diet space of low carb, keto, keto bore, carnivore? Uh, I want to know. I want to get to know everybody as best I can. So please let me know down in the comments. Uh, what you're doing, what your plans are, what your goals are, because I would love to hear it and I would love to cheer you on also. Uh, additionally, I do just want to let y'all know, um, I know if you're new here, you wouldn't know, we do have a private Facebook group. Uh, it is the Southern Ketovore, uh, Keto 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 Carnivore Support Group, and I will have the link for that down in the description below. Um, it's quickly growing. It's still very, very small, but the biggest thing is it is 100% private. So nothing in there can be seen unless you are in the group. And right now we've got some really awesome people over there, um, close friends of mine, relatives of mine who have already started to see really great success following this way of eating, uh, but also just a lot of strangers that have become friends over in that group as well. Um, but it is a place that is fully accepting of anybody that is on this spectrum of eating. So whether you are dirty keto, super clean, strict keto, if you are keto vor, if you are carnivore, I, I want everybody on that spectrum to feel really welcome there. Um, my reason for that is because it's up to each of us to decide where we fall and what works best for us. Uh, for some people, you have to go really, really strict. For some people, you have a little bit more leeway and you can still reach your goals and meet your own successes. Um, so I want everyone that's anywhere on that spectrum to feel welcome over there. So if you are on Facebook and you want to come join, come and join us. Um, it's a nice little community over there. Uh, also, if you want to follow along with all of my tracking and my meals, all of that will be over on Instagram, uh, which is at Southern Keto for um, I also tend to, uh, <laughs> share a lot of stories where you will see my absurd range of musical taste on my stories because <sighs> I don't even know what's going on in there sometimes. Like 
it's a hodgepodge of, of shuffle in there. Uh, so definitely join me over there for all of that. Um, and I do try to respond to as many messages and as many comments as I can. So if you are, I am definitely more active over on Instagram. So I try to re reply to messages and comments over there as much as I can. Uh, and then in the Facebook group, obviously, and here on YouTube, I try to respond to as many comments as I can as well. And I've been kind of slack with that over the holidays just because it's been so crazy. Uh, but now that I'm back to a time when I can kind of take a deep breath and get back to basics, uh, I'll be able to start getting back to you guys in a little bit more timely manner. So that is it. Uh, we are talking goals, big things, um, but small goals uh, that will compile into much bigger success over the course of 2023. So I appreciate you guys joining me today. I am hopeful. I am feeling very positive and encouraged and focused and refreshed and excited for the new year. And I hope you guys are all feeling the same. So I think we're going to crush it. I want to cheer you on. And I so appreciate when y'all cheer me on. So Thank you for tuning in today and I will see you next time. And I love you big much. See you soon.